What are you doing? Oh, I'm sewing. Look what I finished the other day. It's this um, quilting bag with, with quilting. Isn't it great? Why would you make something yourself? You can, I mean, I bought these pants for like $2. And I'm gonna wear them at least twice. I even had enough money left over to buy toilet paper. Oh, but I, I like to make my own things. You see, it's, it's more special that way. And besides, it's fun. Seriously, is there ever actually going to be a time where knitting or sewing is going to come in handy? It's just a hobby. It's not important or relevant or anything. What? Is a pandemic going to come and take over the world and then suddenly people are going to need your sewing skills? Wait, wait, it is Plague Mageddon. That means it's time. Mom, 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 do we have a phone booth? A phone booth? A phone booth. Why would we need a phone booth? Of course we don't have a phone booth. Uh, I mean, uh, people need them for all sorts. I can't tell you, but I, we need a, I need a phone booth. Do we have one? Is there one? No. Well, why, why, people still need them. Why would they get rid of phone booths? Okay, boomer. <gasps> we do have a washroom. Use the washroom. Okay, Mom. Of yarn, obviously. Come on, Melanie. This was all just an excuse to show off your hand knit items. Mom, I'm a superhero, Apocalypse Girl. Hmm. Apocalypse Girl. Will Apocalypse Girl save the world through crafting? Will friends and family finally stop laughing at her knitting habit? And will her mother realize that her daughter used? the only eyeliner in the house to draw this. Sorry, Mom, I don't think I brought mine home with me. Tune in next time to Adventures of Apocalypse Girl. So maybe knitters aren't exactly superheroes, but it's ironic that after being laughed at for years for knitting and ridiculed by I don't know how many scores and scores of people, Finally, finally, these crafting skills are coming in handy. And we're gonna talk about that more next video. But today I'm going to sing a knitting song. I, it's part of my knitting show that I broadcast a couple weeks ago. So if you saw that, this is, the, this is a song from the show. But it is the only knitting song in World War II written by an actual knitter. And shameless self-promotion, I have two CDs, Knitting Songs of World War I, Knitting Songs of World War II, Available on my webpage, melaniegall.com slash CDs. But, Knitting Songs of World War II, the song is called The Knitting Itch. It's by Leah Yurak, written in 1938, and clearly she was a knitter. Who liked knitting, or who knew enough about knitting to write this song? And then you're sure to make a hit. That's the way they keep on 
sing of 